The Garden Report is powered by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a practice edition of the Garden Report. Celtics finishing up their first practice since they learned that it will be the Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals. Noah Dalzell is here from Celtics Blog. Uh, we're going to talk about Kyrie in a little bit with Joe Sway. Uh, but first, the big news of the day, Chris Porzingis participated in some drills in practice, as Joe Mazzulla said here today, and then we saw him uh, getting a lot of shots up on the court uh, after the doors open for us to see. So uh, those were the two things we we're looking for, a real tangible update and a visual of him out there, which we hadn't seen in recent weeks. So all pretty positive stuff for him today. Yeah, definitely. I think it's only confirming my prediction that he'll be back for game one, that he looked like he was moving really well. We hadn't seen him at all, except for like walking around since Cleveland, since we were in Cleveland. So it's been a few weeks. Um, looked to be shooting well. I mean, he didn't do anything that was like super telling. Like he was just kind of running around shooting threes. But at one point he was kind of jogging. Um, but I think more than that, Joe Mazzulla said, I'm confident in where he's at. And I think John Krause asked, you know, does that mean you're confident for game one? And obviously he didn't want to say that. But I do think that's kind of what he was insinuating, um, that he's confident kind of where he's at with his trajectory and ability to contribute. And then talking, they, you know, we talked to Drew today as well. And he also said, you know, we're excited to have him back. Like it sounds like, everybody kind of understands that he is coming back more so than this like uncertain I don't know if we're going to see him again this postseason yeah and that's telling that the players have obviously Peyton Pritchard said to NBC that he thinks he's close um, when they talked after game four against Indy uh, we talked to Dr. Flynn uh, our sports injury expert who often joins the Garden Report here and she thinks as well that uh, Porzingis will be ready to go for the finals here's what she had to say on our live podcast last night is there reason for concern here? Is this normal? Like, where should a guy with a soleus strain be at at this point? A soleus strain is a very tough injury for a basketball player, especially a big basketball player. Um, you know, we see issues with the Achilles, and the Achilles is attached to the calf muscles. So um, it's just really important for these guys to be able to get up there, to be able to rebound, to be able to jump, you know, and to be able to move and kind of be explosive um, down the court. So tough injury to come back from. I mean, we see it not just in the NBA. We see it in the NFL, right? Joe Burrow had a calf injury forever, was, you know, struggling with it forever. So these take a long time to heal. So I'm not concerned that it's been four weeks. In fact, I'm thrilled that he's had the time and you know, if you look at my text messages from lots of people around the NBA, they all ask, when's he going to be, when's he going to be back? And they've been asking me, you know, ever since the injury happened. And I said, we'll see him in the NBA finals. So I still hold to that. I think we will see him. I mean, I expect to see him back. Like I said, I don't think you'll see him at 100%. That's what I think you should expect. He's going to be back. I just don't, I think he's going to be back. All right, let me get my crystal ball out. My crystal ball says, I do think he'll be back. I don't expect him to be at 100% though. So she agrees with you, Noah. Timing wise, week wise, looks like it's lining up for him to be back. But she notes, uh, and she went on to say that there is a risk of aggravation with an injury like this. Uh, and she doesn't think he'll be 100% when he's out there. So this is something we talked a little bit about the other yeah. day. Do you benefit from having Porzingis at less than the full version of himself out there? I think you definitely do. Um, and it's just because like they don't have a lot in the front court right now. It's not like you have a Timberwolves like front court where you just have all this all these options. Like there's been an enormous load on Al Horford. There's going to continue to be one. Um, Luke Cornett, you know, I think he struggled at times during this postseason run. At other times, he was really good. Um, I assume he's fine with his wrist sprain. You know, he wasn't on the injury report last game where he was available yeah, he to told play. Me he's good to go. Yeah, but I, I still think you could benefit from some Porzingis, even if it's not 100%. Um, the question is, you just said that, is he going to be able to play? You know, you don't want to go out there and, you know, after 15 minutes feel like you re-aggravated something. We have no reason to think that's going to be the case. But if we can get like a 20 minutes a night from him, 25 minutes a night, you know, he's hitting his threes, he's playing, you know, he's moving well, well enough to play in the NBA Finals, which is a pretty high threshold, then I think it's only a positive. I think you take that for sure. Possible minute restriction, we'll get to that. Uh, bridge when they cross it. Still no official word on his availability for game one a week from today, uh, but back at practice to some degree. Shooting looked a little tentative at times shooting, but... You thought? Yeah, just just going easy. Yeah. That was the biggest thing it looked like out there is he was just taking it easy, shooting, jogging lightly. There wasn't anything that said, like, he's going full speed. He's, you know, just going 
you know back at what he is at that point so easing back into it certainly and like Joe said just a few drills for him in practice today but the progression continues no setback uh, for Przingis as he said a couple of days ago here uh, so we'll continue to track that they're practicing again tomorrow we'll see what we see from Porzingis again at that point probably just going to be daily updates yeah. about Porzingis at this point leading up to the finals uh, and we are brought to you by great sponsors like Prize Picks. go check them out and use the code CLNS for a deposit match uh, go check out Game Time and use our code CLNS for a $20 discount on your first order over there. Great ticket app that, with deals right up to and even after Game Time. Uh, of course, terms apply over there. And PXG, go to pxg.com slash garden report uh, for a discount on all the hats, uh, tees, uh, polos that they have for the golf course over there. It is indeed golf season. She's Noah Dalzell. I'm Bobby Mann and Chris Porzingis. Return to practice today. Uh, and we'll continue to have more updates on him throughout. Subscribe, Celtics All Access, and CLNS Media for all of the interviews from practice today. Check out our next video talking about the Kyrie angle on this series with Joe Sway Pavone. Hey, Bobby Manning here. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out our social media platforms at Celtics CLNS.